Hello everyone. So this is our Data Vault project, and by using this project, you can upload your files and credentials securely and privately on blockchain. Here we will upload files on IPFS, and credentials we can directly upload in smart contract on blockchain. And after uploading files on IPFS, we will store the file location details in our smart contract on blockchain. We will encrypt all these details before uploading them in smart contract. and when user will try to retrieve these details then we will de decrypt them and show to users so now let's try this dapp and understand how this works so first of all we will connect our uh, metamask wallet here and we have to connect our metamask with sardium spinex test network so we will switch uh, our current current network to sardium spinex network and then we will connect our wallet to this website so first let's try to upload the file with simple encryption so i will disable this option and here i will select this secret image and then we will upload this image by clicking here on upload file so here then it will start uh, then it will start to upload this file and for encrypting this file we have to uh, provide access of our wallet public encryption key so for that it is asking to uh, provide this public encryption key so we have to provide here and then it will upload this file to ipfs and then encrypt that hash and then it will uh, ask us to confirm this transaction because we have to store all these details on smart contract so that's why we have to confirm this transaction and after confirming this transaction we have to wait for some time because it will upload these old details in smart contract and here we have deployed this smart contract on sardium testnet so all these details will be stored in that smart contract so after getting this transaction confirmed you can see that we have this file here we uploaded this file so you can see that this file is showing here so now if we want to view this file so for that first we need to decrypt this file has so we will click here on the de decrypt file and then this metamask pop up will ask us to give permission to de uh, decrypt this file and after that you will see that this file is de uh, decrypted and here we have option to open this file so now here we can view this file and also you can see in in this path that this file is uploaded in ipfs so now let's try to upload a file with advanced encryption so we will select here we will on on this option and then we have another this file secret resume we will upload this here and then we will click on upload file so after that it will it will again ask us to provide our public encryption key so that it can encrypt this file so we will provide this and then it will encrypt this file and then after encrypting that file it will up upload that encrypted file to ipfs and then it will get a hash from ipfs and then it will store that f hash in smart contract so we have to confirm this transaction so now you can see that this transaction is also confirmed and here you can see that we have two files one with normal encryption and one with advanced encryption so now let's decrypt this advanced encrypted file so we will again click on decrypt file and then then we will click click on decrypt so now here you can see that we have download file option because we cannot directly decrypt that file in I, ipfs so that's why we will download that encrypted file from ipfs and then we will decrypt them uh, decrypt that file and then we will give here option to download that decrypted file so for downloading this file we will click on download and then here we have option to save this file Uh, so this is that decrypted file that we downloaded so now we can easily extract this file so now we have our file that we uploaded we we can easily now open this file in advanced encryption first we are zipping that file and then we are encrypting that file then we are uploading that encrypted file to ipfs and then we are storing that encrypted file hash in our smart contract and when we will retrieve all these files here so at that time we will get the ipfs hash from our smart contract and then we will save that file uh, that that file from that ipfs hash and then we will decrypt that file using uh, user's private key we will decrypt that file and then we will show the users to download that file uh, so now let's try to upload credentials here so in this upload credentials section for now we have just added three inputs website url phone or from uh, email or username and password here we can type the website for that we want to store uh, these credentials and here we can type email or phone number or username anything that we want so here i will type 
द यूजर नेम एंड इन एंड हेयर वी कैन टाइप आवर पासवर्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल क्लिक ऑन अपलोड क्रेडेंशियल्स सो अगेन इट विल एनक्रिप्ट ऑल दीज क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड देन इट विल आस्क अस टू कन्फर्म दिस ट्रांजेक्शन बिकॉज हेयर फर्स्ट वी आर इनक्रिप्टिंग द पासवर्ड एंड देन वी आर स्टोरिंग ऑल दीज डिटेल्स ऑल दीज एनक्रिप्टेड डिटेल्स इन आवर स्मार्ट फोन सो फॉर अपलोडिंग डिटेल्स इन आवर स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट we have to confirm this transaction and then this transaction will be confirmed so now for viewing all these credential details first we need to decrypt this uh, these credentials because while uploading these credentials we have encrypted them and then we have uploaded that encrypted credentials in our smart contract so now we need to again decrypt that uh, these credentials using our wallet so that we can view them so we will click here on decrypt credentials and then metamask ask us to decrypt uh, this uh, these credentials and after that we have option to uh, view all these credentials so now here you can see that we have all credential details that we have uploaded we have here website url uh, username and password we can also easily copy all these details uh, by clicking on these buttons and we have here password we can also copy this pa password and if we want to view this password so we can click here so we can see this password so by this way we can retrieve all our credentials so basically this is our data vault project and by using this we can easily upload our credentials and files securely and privately on blockchain and in future we can also create a browser extension that will automatically autofill all these credential details in website so that we can create in future thank you thank you very much